I recently took a trip to South Africa. Let me tell you about it. It started in Cape Town. Once in Cape Town, I went to the Castle of Good Hope. After that, I went to Camps Bay. The day before I left, I took the aerial cable to Table Mountains. From Cape Town, I went to Kagalati Transfrontier Park. Once at Kagalati, we saw elephants. And leopards. Did you know that a leopard's tail was about as long as its body? Also, Kagalati means place of thirst. After Kagalati, I went to Chobe National Park. Once at Chobe, I saw a variety of animals, like lions, the second largest living cat. Don't forget about the elephants. Did you know that baby elephants are in the womb for 22 months? And did you know that mother hippos produce pink, yogurt-like milk so their babies can drink underwater. Obviously, I saw some giraffes and zebras. Did you know that giraffes are the tallest terrestrial animal and zebras can see it at night like a cat or owl? Gazelles used to be considered antelopes until a few years ago. From Chobe, I went to Victoria Falls. I'll just show you a few of the pictures I got. After walking around for a while, I went on a steam train ride. After the steam train ride, I went bungee jumping. Sadly, I left Victoria Falls and went to Cabell Forest National Park. At Cabell Forest National Park, we saw so many monkeys and learned that chimps and humans are more closely related than chimps and apes. Hi, Mrs. Charlie. From Cabello Forest National Park, I went to Nairobi. I saw a mix of wealth and poverty. In Nairobi, the population is 3,375,000. Of that, 78% are in wealth, 22% are in poverty. From Nairobi, I went to Mogadishu. First, I went to see the Almera Tower. Then, I saw the Lost Moderns. From Mogadishu, I went to Timbuktu. I'm gonna have trouble with this. Then, I went to the Degenerabur Mosque. And saw the Sankor Mosque. This was my route through South Africa. I hope you get a chance to visit there one day.